What is going on, geeks? Welcome back to another episode of Arc Building Evolved with me, Unite the Clans. You know who I am. I'm getting more and more confident about this area based on the builds we have done so far um, that have been built into the ruins and made to blend in. I feel like we're going to be able to do big things with this area. Uh, so welcome back. This is Arc Building Evolved. If you are brand new, this series is designed to make you a better builder and at the same time, hopefully make me a better builder. And for the first time ever, it is not a single player series. I am now doing this series on a Patreon server dedicated to creative building. We spawn in the materials, uh, spawn in the creatures, whatever we need, and it is full of mods, which I am not super familiar with. I wanted to give you a little heads up. Uh, since I started this series, I have been asking the, my patrons, the folks who play here on this server, to help me decorate. I'm not good at interiors. Uh, a few episodes ago, Melivorium, she decorated that place up, and she said actually a few of you guys went over and subscribed to her channel, so shout out to Mel. Uh, that was uh, episode... I've lost track. 31. Uh, and one of our... I don't, I don't believe this man has a channel, but Jaffo... I believe, has been building on this server quite a bit. He's been on here as much as I have. I believe he has taken on the project of decorating this house. This house comes with uh, a, a UTC doppelganger, and uh, and feel free to rename the monkey. That's his purpose, but I think if we just... Yeah, there's Jaffo. There's Jaffo and he's decorating. We'll leave him to his business. Yeah, he's, he's here. Okay, let's not, not let him know we're here. Keep doing your thing, brother. Keep doing your thing. Decorate it up. If you are playing anywhere on the Geeks uh, Patreon servers, you are welcome to this. This is an extinction server dedicated, like I said, to, to building with admin powers. And um, come it here and help me decorate. We, we did a couple episodes ago, we did this. The Orange Roof House. Tangerine, actually. For the most part, you guys were quite supportive of it. You liked it. A few people said paint it brown. That feels too boring. Uh, this house needs, it definitely needs some work. How the heck do you get up there? What's with these stupid upside down ceilings? How do you get down here? What's the purpose of it? Feel free to leave this house empty. It's a mess. I had uh, little uh, sort of spirally staircases and they stuck through the whole, stuck through, made a dang mess of the whole place. So I took them out. So now it's, it's kind of hard to get around. This house, on the other hand, has some flow. Feel free, come in here, do something with this. Uh, that is up to you. And actually, you know what? These might actually look better. We got stairs everywhere. I wonder if that'll look better as a ramp because it'll hide the mess that's underneath. Uh, the mess being the ruins that we're building on top of and around. Uh, so this house, up for grabs. Come decorate. It's got a little loft. I actually had to put a bed in there because uh, I was glitching out. And sometimes the only way to do that is to fast travel by bed. Uh, people love, and actually it might have been Jaffo that left the comment on the video from the other day. He said, loves this narrow staircase, and I like it too. It adds a totally cool feel to this. I I'm a fan, and it lines right up with this. We got a lot to do, guys, but let's talk about what we accomplished last episode. Big, big fan of myself for what we did last time. Check it out. Church alcoves. And we did a graveyard. Mm. Good work all around, I'd say. I'm an excellent builder, and I proved it to myself <laughs> yet again. Uh, and and so uh, we got uh, the ruins, as you can see, the, the church that we're working on built straight into the ruins. Now, one thing we're going to try right out of, out of the gate, and this was a suggestion. Actually, it might have been from the same person. He's leaving very, very useful comments. Uh, I think it might have been Jaffo. If not, whoever left this comment, shout out to you, suggested try some olive paint on there. So that's the first thing we're going to do today. And uh, there was a mix. There was a mix of thoughts on how we should do this church. I had talked about a fire god, and I got a ton of cool, cool ideas. You guys are so creative. You're really getting me going, uh, getting my ideas pumping. But um, I did some off-camera work on this church. I didn't want to bring the, you along for the whole thing. So what I did, I encased these big ugly bits, and I worked on taking our our walls back, and they are built into the ruins. I don't know how well you can see that. And I built an altar and I did this. So uh, this area up here, kind of cool because it's like a wall and a half width. It is not, not double wide and you can see the way that those uh, things cross over at the top. It's I like it, I like it. I did a mix of brown uh, paint on the stone. Uh, and the one thing we have to figure out is the roof. Uh, and we'll probably be doing some of that together. I added in that window there in the hopes of capturing the moon that we so appreciated at the end of last episode. But the thing is, the moon is often right up here. It's way, way higher than I plan on making this church. So uh, in addition to that, in addition to that window thing there, we're going to have to have a big old skylight. 
So that is what I'm thinking for today, guys. I'm going to bring this church to life. I'm going to see what what we're going to do sort of for the top bit of it. And I think I may have to, I'm going to have to build up maybe some scaffolding uh, and get myself up to a position where we can work on this roof because I did a lot of grappling hooking last time and I was not so smooth at it. Uh, but yeah, I am excited. I'm going to go get myself in a position. I'll maybe get a paint sprayer, some olive paint. And that, well, oh, come on. I suck at this. Okay, I'm going to get, like I said, some olive paint. Maybe we'll try mixing and matching that with the stone. And then together we'll work on a roof and a big old glass uh, skylight down the middle of it. And this is Jaffo's. I think this is how he got here, how he found his way. Sheldon, good name. Better name for a turtle, but it'll work on that. Ooh, that's it. Okay. And welcome back, guys. I'm going to keep you with me for uh, some boring stuff, some stuff I would not necessarily keep uh, you with me for. Uh, because I'm a little behind schedule today. Uh, today was a productive day, but not one uh, for the YouTube channel, certainly not. Uh, it's quite late, uh, 5 p.m., and I'm just getting myself started on today's recording session. Uh, so today's video may be a little bit more uh, filler and a little bit less killer. Uh, boom, okay? And I'm trying to match the pattern we have above so that I can, once I get to this point, I, I can continue without messing things up. But I figured uh, this roof needs to be extended. It needs to be, we're, we're adding sort of a, a half wall thickness to it. Like that. Uh, and uh, I think that is something that uh, totally, like I said, needs to be done. Uh, so I'm going to keep you with me for it because uh, I'm going to need some stuff to record. And I think if there's a spot, if there's a perfect place and way to try out uh, the olive paint, what, you're the freakiest thing ever, uh, then this may be it. We'll try out the olive paint on this first rather than doing it on the church, which I already like and don't want to mess up if I don't have to. Uh, so uh, we will get this in. Uh, but yes, productive day. Christmas lights up, Eve trough clean, important, important things to do uh, if you got a house going. And I, I typically try and avoid those things in order to make videos. So today, feel good about myself despite being behind schedule on the YouTube, uh, YouTube front. Okay, so that is something for us. Now, uh, the, the thing that we have to do, I guess, next is go ahead and slap all these in here. Uh, and... The it's kind of stupid. I can't really reach out. Hey, there's Jaffo taking care of business. Uh, some of these spots I am not going to need to worry quite so much. Others I am. Uh, so what I what I did is I brought along some... Ooh, you don't want to play along at all, do you? What are you trying to snap to? There must be something hidden under there. Okay, this will let me extend a little bit beyond where I'm used to. Like so. Perfect. Uh, so... Uh, yes, I was going to talk today, guys, about how this series is so useful for me. When I hop on and build every day, I remember tricks and I remember things about this game that uh, will normally skip my mind, that I, I will forget. And I've realized why it's sort of a very sensible process that I will go from, oh, this series which is uh, all about creative building. Like I said, we talked uh, in recent episodes about how much to show on camera, cooks and bakers and all that kind of stuff. You guys had great feedback on that. There we go. Uh, it makes me realize why I have always gone from uh, this series to do some building tutorials. And I'm actually thinking about what's going to be coming up the rest of the year. Um, we did a little run of building tutorials recently, and I felt a little uninspired by the end of it. I felt like I was not having as much fun uh, making YouTube videos as I'm used to. And I don't want that to be the case. I want to have as much fun as possible. And I think part of that for me is sometimes, let's go ahead and put you in there. Sometimes the building tutorials lack the continuity from video to video, and I certainly don't get the interaction with you guys that I get in this series. Uh, and you know what? Let's try let's try going up here instead of jumping around like a fool. Try not to spoil Jaffo's work. Not looking, not looking, not looking. Do your thing. Uh, <laughs> but yes, this series makes sense to lead me into building tutorials. And the last run I did, I, saw, I lacked a little inspiration. I was forgetting uh, some of the building tricks I know best. Uh, this series brings it all back to me. I remember it all, and I'm actually thinking about the next run of building tutorials and what I would have in mind for that. Uh, I I think... Let's go ahead and get ourselves over here. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Uh, and let's try some of that olive paint for the first time. Um, so... So this series uh, is going to come to an end. Ooh. You might be right, brother. That might work. Let's try it right over here where... It, 
Ooh, you guys have to let me know what you think. I am torn, guys. I have slapped a little bit of that paint on there. I'm not sure where the last cut happened. I went flying into the water. I have no idea what I was talking about. But uh, I know I was talking about tutorials, and I, I won't ramble too much it for you guys. I'm going to have to work on this and think about it. Um, but I think, and I may have to play around with the positioning of that. I don't know how I feel about that lip right there. Uh, and the whole bottom of this is going to need to be painted as well. So I'm going to have to figure out the coloring and the details on that. Um, but yes, this series will come to an end uh, in the middle of December because this server is going to go, pfft, it's going to disappear. Uh, and uh, it's an extinction server and it'll get wiped. One of the benefits of playing here is that I get my patrons uh, to help me bring it to life. Uh, another is that there's a set time limit so I can't build away and get you guys bored with swamp building projects. But the downside is that this world is not permanent. It will be gone. So I'm trying to make the most of it while we're here. And that means lots and lots of building evolved until the middle of December. After that, I got to figure out what we do, guys, because I have a bunch of ideas I've been storing up for tutorials. And that happens when I get focused on working on one place. Um, I start thinking, ooh, here's a house that would look good in the redwoods. Ooh, here's a design that would look good in the desert. Ooh, here's some horse stables. I don't have horses out here. So uh, those ideas build up. And I'm wondering if when this series ends, maybe we'll do a big old run of tutorials, something to end the year on. 12 days of tutorials, maybe for Christmas. I don't know. Don't get too excited. That's a lot. I had someone ask me to do like an advent calendar of tutorials. I'm like, what is that? Every day of December up until Christmas? Yeah, right. I don't have that many ideas in me, but we could certainly do a few. Anyway, uh, the sun comes out, guys. We get one good look at the difference here between those two colors. Dang, it might be better. That might that might be better. Okay, let's go find a spot where they blend blend together and we're going to try this out. Okay, so here we go, guys. That is the look. I like it. And that is the alternative. Whoever, I'll have to double check if it was Jaffo, but whoever suggested that you might be a genius. I'm wondering if everything needs to go to olive paint now, guys. I have, oh, I don't know. Let's go look down here really quickly. And then in the second half of the video, we will be working on that church like I promised. Oh, gosh, I really don't know. The green looked so good for me at first. I was so confident. I was so happy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll wait. This is another thing. I'll wait for some feedback on it. Very different. It looks much brighter. It's going to give a totally different feel depending on which ones we use and where, but it blends in better, at least uh, when it comes to up here. So, um, like I said, I'll be thinking about things. Aberration is the thing that's going to throw all my plans out of whack. I'm anticipating we don't get that DLC until the new year. But if I have any inside sources, they're thinking like second or third week of December. But that sounds crazy. Third week of December is Christmas. Are you really going to get people, expect people to hop on and play a DLC like crazy in the, in two days before Christmas? I think a lot of people take, take time off and spend time with family around then. And there ain't as much time for video games, especially this type of video game. My family and I, we play Mario Kart and stuff at Christmas. Big social, fun family games. Nobody's sitting alone in their room playing this kind of stuff. So anyway thoughts uh you let me know what you think about the colors here uh if you would like to see this is the alternative this is a totally different way to share my love of building with you than the tutorials uh, but i have some ideas that might be good for tutorials i don't know if i have 12 of them but it's something to think about something to consider okay guys so i figured out what was up before i leave you i didn't want this to be confusing you guys remember that little ledge that was driving us nuts down there that is the difference between snapping here and having this wall here gives me a lower snap point and then once I take it out boom that is what I needed so that is the trick if that was bothering you if you're doing anything similar to this and you couldn't figure out what was up here let's go ahead and do this for the moment boom and put you down here so I've already done a lot of the difficult bits let's take that out and that means no silly lip right here and it's very easy to access oh still slippery still very slippery all right, guys, so I'm going to uh, actually, I was going to save this for the end, but uh, we're going to go up and I'll show you the work that Jaffo did on this house. So shout out to Jaffo. Um, he's done a bunch of decor around here, and this is all vanilla stuff, guys. That's fishing cages, storage boxes, and a beer barrel. I like that a lot. Uh, and since we need to get back up there, we're going to be wandering through the house. I might as well show you what he's got. This is a cool one uh, from Eco Staple Decor, I think. 
I believe that's what that's from one of the best looking things in the game. Shovel, hat, long neck rifle, whole thing looks great. And yeah, I like it. All right, so let's climb on up here. Ooh, nice. So this is fairly vanilla as well. Regular storage boxes. A regular, ooh. You know what? I know he tried to decorate with sleeping UTC, but I think maybe we'll bring him over and use him in the church. You guys think about how that might work? I know some people wanted me to make these people cannibals and have ritualistic sacrifices, but you got a little bit. This is, I think, stuff from the Advanced Rafts mod. Some of this is. And then a little little desk, little dining area, and I'm pretty sure what he did upstairs was a kitchen. Did you decorate? Yeah, Jaffo, there we go. So now I know. That is genius. I love that we did that. And then we come on up. Oh, this is lovely. I like, look at this. That is great. This is just, this is perfect. So I wasn't sure if people would take these houses and pick a theme and go, okay, well, this is the town blacksmith or this is the town hotel. This, this is just a house. There's people living here. You got fish cooking, lemons. That looks lovely. Same thing right here. And then, yes, this is perfect because where we're, we're living, having all these fish, I like it a lot. Uh, you got this little grill. You get uh, pots and pans. This actually works as a refrigerator, so this place is uh, is functional as well as attractive. There you go. So shout out to Jaffo. I didn't want to spend too much time uh, just browsing through things. We'll still have to put some doors and windows on that. But do I still have I still have two of these to do? Let's go ahead and turn on the HUD and try not to fall off. And then I got some ideas for that church, guys. I got some ideas for how to bring it to life. We still got to figure out the paint thing. Still got to figure out what's going to look better. I mean. Sometimes the green matches better, and sometimes the olive does. So we'll have to figure out what's going to work best for us. Like, I feel like the green matches that. Oh, Lord. I can't even decide. You guys will let me know what you think. Everybody going to have a preference, I'm sure. But let's take ourselves down and around, and we'll go over to this church. So what am I thinking? I am thinking we build up sort of like Notre Dame style. A couple of little towers up from each of these two, um, these two things right here, the two alcoves, and then there should be a two foundations in between. We will have a little arch on top. And my cell phone buzzing like crazy. My family started texting each other, and when that happens, the phone doesn't stop buzzing. But I think that is my thinking. So I'm gonna get myself up there. Like I said, I'm gonna do a little uh, little scaffolding so we have something to stand on. And I'm thinking we bring what we have here. We bring this this shape, which is one square foundation shape bring it all the way up to the top and then same thing with this boom and then we will use these two in the middle to create an arch and that arch is where our sunroof uh, sunroof what are you going to call it that's the wrong term but where our glass uh, skylight type deal is going to be uh, and we'll, ideally you'll be right here be able to see the moon straight through that thing with that big creepy tree branch coming right through it it's going to have a great feel uh, so i have a bunch of work to do i think this will be some work off camera because of the heights and standing on top of these ruins, but uh, I will bring you guys back for any and all of the most interesting parts of the build. Okay, I think I'm onto something. It's hard to say how tall to go with this. Let's try. Let's try this. I'm doing this in a weird order. This is going to mess me up, but it'll let you guys get a better view. I think we're getting close. And then what if, let's go ahead and take a look at this. What if we had this on top? this on top boom and boom okay Ugh, I'm so torn guys I don't know is that good it feels like it is the it it certainly feels about right I mean what else are you gonna be able to do with this place I think paint is gonna help once we get to that point uh, and let me see I guess what we oh careful I guess what we can do is take these all the way back I've been building up here without a whole lot to stand on it's actually I don't know why I didn't do this sooner but let's take this all the way to the back that's very close I have some weird things going on at the back of this place so filling in the space between uh, here and there is going to be interesting but I think we'll be able to do it and uh, let me come on Alright guys, this uh, build is a little bit tricky uh, because I am refusing to fly. Uh, flying is something you can totally do when you are building in admin mode. 
But for Building Evolved, I have always found, because I'm using my imagination, I am trying to get immersed in the world that we are building here, I have always found it takes me out of it when I am so, sim I can simply soar above everybody else, or everything else. So I think that might work for us. Now something I did on the other side, and we can go down here, is I tried to continue that archway uh, through here, and we'll see if I can find a snap point that isn't going to be crazy. Okay, let's do that. Let's get ourselves up here, and I will zoom out. So yeah, that is not the one I need. I need to go one lower, but I tried to continue the shape of that arch, and I guess we can we can see which one is going to work here. Is that shape all right? I don't think I like it. I think what we need to do is get rid of this, and get rid of this, and go one lower with the ceiling. Was that there? I think that's it. Uh, and then we'll be able to put this in, and uh, then a slope, like so. And let's try zooming out on that. Yeah, that is the natural continuation of things. I did that on the other side. Um, the only question at this point, and let's hop down here, the only question at this point is, do we continue that all the way down? Do I come down with walls like this? Which I think would work for us. And I should, you know what I should have done? I should have used some windowed walls in this process. Yeah, ooh, that's weird. Whatever, nothing to worry about. Uh, so I did that on that side. Over here, I didn't do that. I, I just tried to bring it back in. But I'm wondering, maybe just on the front here, it's a little bit more expanded. We'll see. And then I can, I can yeah, I think this is the way we're going to do things. Let's bring it down like this. And then, ooh. Did I get rid of the ceiling that was supposed to be up there? I didn't, but we need it. Boom. Uh, okay, so I think I'm running into an issue because we're crisscrossing walls here. Uh, when that happens, I'm going to go ahead and use vanilla uh, walls, which I have a plentiful supply of, and those should do the trick. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's how I'm going to have to do it, and because of everything I got going on here, Finding the snap point we want is going to be the, the difficult part. I'll leave you guys here for a minute. I will be back. This place slowly coming to life. Um, Got to be honest, guys. Last two episodes, we have done good work. I am really, really happy with this church. So I stepped away from you uh, in order to get some tricky bits. And I ended up doing all of the final tricky bits. The place is done. Uh, but you got the main concept. Getting to work on these towers up front with you was the key. Just for a sec, take a look at, at that as you walk down there. Look at that, how that light is cast down there. Tell me you're not in love. Uh, so I'm going to show you one thing I did to enhance that. Went ahead and painted this little section in a slightly different color. That's the olive. But look at the way that sunlight drops down there. I'm so impressed. Uh, obviously, we have the uh, the sort of the, the big fire... Uh, alcoves that we built last time tower towers on top a big arch across the roof and boom see that continue pretty fantastic now there is a little bit of stone near the top there i built in a couple of windows but um i'm pretty happy guys so mix of brown paint forest green paint and little bits of the olive green I still need uh, somebody to come decorate this like jaffo came and decorated that house over there make it it's a it, it's a church of a fire god find a way to make this a better tribute to a god of flame now obviously we have these two burning ooh, that needs to be repainted obviously we have these two burning uh, alcoves right here and i went and added a fire in at the altar last episode and i'm pretty happy with it guys now the one thing that that we put a lot of work into uh, to get perfect was the view of the moon as it sets behind that big old tree i am on here alone right now so i'm going to play with the time of day and we're going to finish the episode with that view oh yeah i think 1 30 a.m is the magic time guys the moon fits perfectly between the two notre dame style towers we built and as you move forward you will see it through the epic glass roof and then through the altar window. Uh, so this was a double episode build. Uh, the last time I did that was the Viking Town Hall. And um, that was one that I think was worthy of it. I hope this one was worthy of it. And I actually have a little shout out. That Viking Town Hall came to be known as Snake Venom Hall. 
And that is part of a tradition I started of naming places and buildings in this series after some of my most generous uh, Patreon supporters. And it's especially fitting to do now because the folks who have been around uh, since the summer until now have seen me go from a waiter who makes YouTube videos on the side to a guy who makes YouTube videos. So if you are one of those people uh, and you want something named after you, I, I think I think you know who you are. The folks who, who give way, way, way more than they have to just because they want to see my dreams come true. Uh, but that that uh, uh, Viking Hall turned into Snake Venom Hall, like I mentioned. And Snake, uh, actually, just a, a shout out to how amazing this community is. Snake and Hollow met in our community, two people. They are now engaged. Uh, and kind of fitting to shout them out here as I've built a church. Yes, it's a church of a fire god. I'm sure you guys won't be getting married and anything like that. But uh, the Geeks community continues to blow my mind. And uh, it makes series like this possible. I do this. I've now done this uh, series day after day after day. This might be the third day in a row you get an episode. And that's only possible because of those people. And they get to come play here. And they get to come build here. And eventually I get to name some things after them. So... Anyway, that does it, guys. I'm, I'm going to bask in the glow of my fire god temple, and uh, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always with this series, keep the amazing comments coming. You are inspiring me, and continue to kill it with likes. This series always does that. All right, guys, I'm Unite the Clans. This is Arc Building Evolved, and I'll be back in your life in the next episode.